it's been an awesome trip i'm loving it i'm heading towards ben nevis now along a nice little road which is pretty cool so look at these views though i was just up there a minute ago it's so good <laughs> These are some cool roads. Screw the NC500. This is where it's at, wherever the f this is. Woohoohoo! Let's go, baby! Look at these twisties. These are sick. Good little find here. <laughs> this is like Tale of the Dragon in the US. <laughs> Why did that gravel patch come out of nowhere? And it reminds me actually of videos my friend Joe showed me, my roommate Joe. He showed me of the, his trip to Canada. So I'm just getting the budget version of this, which is sick. Okay, switch to drone footage of that thing right there. is a road so actually where I stopped to take those drone footage of the castle I was chatting to this bloke in front of me who's on a uh, Husqvarna 701 enduro so the supermo enduro bike and um, he's a really nice bloke he's ridden 250 miles just to get away from the missus and I'm like nice I like that hopefully he, his missus never sees this video but he just wanted a chilled weekend by himself and I was like why not mate why not Roads are something else, man. I think I might have to move to Scotland. <laughs> it's the UK with good roads and no police. I've jinxed it now, but like they're nothing else, man. They're nothing else. I wish these were back home. You could get so quick through these. This is Max Risk's road in, in the US, but in Scotland. There's got to be a, a Scottish version of him. Okay, so some of the best roads I've ever ridden on aren't even on the NC500. It's the road leading on the A87 all the way down to Ben Nevis from the NC500. They're absolutely insane. Honestly, bring a fast bike or a fast car and just have a good time. And the views are still super spectacular, so you're not losing out on that. But I think if you're heading up to the NC500, that's the way you want to go as well. Past Ben Nevis and uh, Fort Williams and then straight up to the NC500. That's got to be Ben Nevis right there, right in front of me there with that snow caps. That is sick. That's where I'm going tomorrow, Ben Nevis, top of that. So it turns out, I've been melting a hole in my bag. It's obviously got to be, because it's melted up here as well, it's got to be flame pops. So I'm gonna have to angle the exhaust out of the way. Let's see how it goes. Guess what popped as well? Saving the Apple Tango for the top of Ben Nevis, never mind. Good morning, you lovely, beautiful people. I've just left Glen Nevis campsite, and I'm heading to the Ben Nevis uh, visitor centre to start the probably biggest walk of my life because for someone who never walks and have just done 500 miles on a motorcycle yesterday those I'm probably a bit in over my head but uh, never mind I'm gonna crack on try and climb Ben Nevis we'll see how it goes it's probably not gonna go very well but we'll give it a go I've got all my GoPros ready to go <laughs> cringy I know take some videos I've got a little bit of charge left in the drone but I'm lugging it up the hill just in case I've already got blisters in my feet from the other few days I've been walking around and stuff, my shoes are wet. I'm definitely underprepared for this. But who cares? I'm sure I'll work it out. It'll be alright. <laughs> So, it's just 
walking up and I was thinking to myself, you could probably do it on a motorbike. Nah, you couldn't. Look at the size of these steps. You'd be log hopping them all and you're never going to get to this. But I was thinking that and then some bloke sitting there on a rock with his mountain bike. How the hell did he cycle like this? But um, yeah, he said he pretty much walked it up and he's pretty much walking it down, so he's just giving himself this big weight. There's not many people can say they've done it on a mountain bike, that's for sure. Way now, maybe, maybe a little bit below, but we're getting there. I'm at the twisty turny bit all the way to the top now, so it won't be long. Just cross the waterfall. It's all right, though, getting there. The bridleway somewhere around here that would be good back in the day, riding your bike right up to the bottom of the bridleway, finishing it off on foot. I can't believe those boys took their mountain bikes up here, they. You know, that's something else. Note yourself, never fly a drone around the top of Ben Nevis. Almost lost it. I had to crash land it in the end, I'm sure I've shown you that, but it was entertaining. Pissed a couple of people off, but it wouldn't be me if I didn't piss a few people off. But anyway, thank you very much as always for watching Nick's Viz. I hope you enjoyed this video of Ben Nevis, the part, my climb of Ben Nevis. Probably only a short one, but it should be good anyway. Uh, I'm going to finish the rest of my uh, journey up in Scotland tomorrow. I'm going to finish off by heading back down to York to see my brother and then on the home straight back down to Portsmouth. So, thank you very much for watching Nick's Fizz. I'll see you later.